Hey there. So today, the truth about how to post on social media is about to be revealed. I want to go over how to clearly define your target audience so you can communicate and create consistent content for that audience specifically. I'm going to shed some light on the content creation machine. That way you can understand what's really going to grow your following. And then you can start to tackle this ASAP. So first we will go over why you really need to understand and identify who the audience is that you're, that you're trying to build. Why it's really the first thing that you need to think of when we begin to tackle the subject of creating more consistent content. So then second, um, I'll give you some direction on how you can focus in on who it is that you are creating this content for so that you can really understand what will grow your following without the overwhelm that, you know, most social media platforms can cause. Third, I'll show you how discovering what your target market slash ideal client actually wants is the key to creating great content that will attract and build a highly targeted audience. Sound good? All right, cool. Let's get started then. This is how we do it. Okay, so in my experience, a big part of the reason why people struggle with growing an audience and with creating engaging content is because they haven't spent the time to actually sit down and define who it is that's their perfect client. They have no clue who they're talking to. And when you don't know who you're talking to or even how to talk to them, it's going to be really hard to try to build a following. When this happens, um, you can end up feeling, you know, desperate. And then you may result to trying all sorts of chasing tactics that just don't work. This can be related to our younger years. For example, <laughs> I think we've all been guilty of chasing after a guy only to ultimately end up crushed and devastated when he just isn't that into us. The one that Alan and I danced to. Rolling with Toby. Oh, hi. Oh, don't cry. I'm sorry. If you ignore these signs and make it your mission to get them to fall for you anyway, most likely it won't work. And now him and the rest of society will just assume that there's something wrong with you. After all, if you were a decent catch, then you would have no reason to chase after a guy. And this is exactly what can happen when you chase after an audience that is unaligned with who you are as a person and what your business stands for. You can come across as desperate and believe me, that is the last thing that you want to happen. Not only is it a huge waste of your time, but it can really damage your reputation as well. So instead, the solution here is that we really want to attract a following. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. And by the way, uh, my name is Madison for those of you who are new here and I help hairstylists, moms, and female entrepreneurs in general to build their businesses, reach their goals, and discover their higher, more spiritual selves in the process. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and don't forget to click that notification bell at the bottom of the screen so that you can make sure you're notified every single time that I release a new video just like this one. Okay, so when it comes to understanding your target audience, you need to define your perfect customer. Most people just kind of roll their eyes and just skip right over this part. But in my opinion, this is the most important part. I would actually say it's the most foundational part of every business that you will come across, period. So you really want to think about it like this. Who is the ideal follower or client that you want? You're going to want to identify all of their characteristics like their behaviors, their likes, their dislikes, um, and their challenges. So things like, you know, what is their background? Where do they live? How old are they? Are they married or single? Do they have any kids? What are their struggles or their challenges that they're dealing with right now in life? Imagine that this person is in the room with you right now and ask yourself, what would you guys be chatting about? So let me give you an example of this. When I'm creating content, I often think of my perfect client, Jade. Jade is 34 and someone who is interested in fashion and beauty. She lives in the city, 
but she has a deep love for the simple side of life. She's definitely one of those girly girls who ended up with the love of her life, who likes everything rugged and manly, and he loves nature, which keeps Jade super balanced. Her partner and her are not married and don't have any kids, but they do have animals and they do eventually want to start a family. They're just not super traditional and they think outside the box. She does have a great job and has a wonderful work ethic, but her job is in no way her life. She really enjoys her home and making it look and feel warm and beautiful. And her connection to the spiritual life is super strong. These are the things that I keep in mind when I'm coming up with my content. So if that were my ideal client in my content, I might post about maybe an awesome local weekend getaway that can help you reconnect with, with nature after a long week. Since I know that Jade and her partner value their connection to nature and appreciate the simple, but also super rewarding parts of life. Or maybe I'll post an article that highlights an amazing new vitamin specifically for animals that can help improve their quality of life since I know that Jade has pets. Or maybe I'll post a new interior design idea that I recently came across that will help you level up a room at a really great price since I know how much Jade loves making her home look and feel warm and beautiful. So when you think of your ideal client, I really want you to ask yourself some deep questions and take the time to write them down. This is a part you definitely cannot skip. And here's a quick tip, name your ideal client. And if you already know their name, let me know what your ideal client's name is in the comments below. So you can see how zoning in on who you are speaking to can really make all the difference in coming up with content that creates a genuine connection with the people who are following you. It's about understanding and identifying who your target audience is. So that's step one. And now moving to step two, now that we know who, we need to figure out what it is that the who wants, okay? Because simply knowing who your target market, it actually is not enough. You actually need to dig a little bit deeper to understand what their core desires are. What things do they dream about? Or what are they actually trying to achieve in their life? So for example, let's say you're a travel blogger. Your audience is going to want inspiration and advice on travel destinations and on the best places to visit, you know, what to see, where to go and how to stay safe and so on, right? They're also going to want to see beautiful pictures of beautiful places. And this is opposed to someone who follows a meme account, right? Where they just want to, you know, be entertained and they just want to laugh and have fun and share their um, memes with their friends. Let's take this even a little bit further, okay? So I'll use myself for an example. So for me in my beauty niche, the thing that my audience wants, their main desire is to be more confident and to feel more sexy, right? So what I do is I provide content that helps support that confidence. So my content is based around self-confidence, self-love, makeup tips and tricks, and hair tips and healthy eating, and all things that can help my beauty audience feel more confident and sexy. And that's very different form of content than to those who are in my entrepreneurship and social media marketing audience. So for them, their big one, you know, big dream is financial freedom. They want to be able to be free to live life on their own terms. So for me in that space, I create different types of content about social media marketing, customer management, business and mindset, and you know, all the things that are going to move, move them toward getting the result that they ultimately want, which in this case would be financial freedom. The reason why this is important is because if you can create content that people actually care about and you take the time to build a relationship with them, then they will be more likely to share, tag, and comment on your posts. And if you don't do that, then your content will likely be ignored. So that is it. This is the magic formula for creating more consistent content for your perfect ideal client. 
those are some of my best tips when it comes to figuring out the best content to create to attract the type of following that will move your business toward complete success. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.